Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609. We're just leaving the family dollar right on the New Mexico, Mexico border. Uh, it, it's three miles from where I'm camped at Pancho Villa uh, State Park uh, near Columbus, New Mexico. Columbus, New Mexico is about, I don't know, 1,200 people. And Palomas across the border here is about 4,500 people. But yeah, the wall is straight ahead. The wall is straight ahead. Again, the population of Palomas is about 4,600. And the girl that works in the dollar, family dollar here is from Palomas. How genius is that? Yeah, just walk across the border and go to work. But straight ahead is the border wall. And what I spotted when I came out is there's a road over here that looks like you can drive down to the old fence of Rooney, huh? You think I would drive down there in my Class C motorhome? Yep. <laughs> I do. Let's go see. Yeah, but yeah, Mexico's just right there, guys. I mean, you know, they're walking. But what it is, they, they actually walk over here from Mexico and go to this store, uh, whatever it is, Family Dollar, whatever I said it was, and uh, and do their shopping. Yep, 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 yep. And uh, so I'm going to turn left here and see where this goes. A dirt road i could have gone straight but i'm not sure what there's a store they, they actually have uh storage buildings here for people that have stuff uh stored that they bring over from mexico uh, companies and stuff but they've got the new uh center finished for the border patrol and it is really nice and the, on the mexican side they've got theirs finished too so they're the border crossing all the buildings are brand new brand new we, i may let you try to let's see if there's a way i can let you see them well no i can't because that's a one way do not enter so we won't want to do that but straight ahead that thing you see that kind of looks like a uh, i don't know it looks funny it's a border wall it's 12 feet high but we're going to go down right to it yeah because you can drive down there yeah do i know that for a fact no <laughs> am i going to do it yeah <laughs> they'll tell me soon enough won't they But right now we're in the United States and right down across here about 150 yards you cross the Rio Grande and be in Mexico. Yeah. Uh, am I going to drive all the way down there? Yeah, I am. Why the hell not? Mm -hmm. well, there's a duty free station a place over there. It says open. Uh, duty free. I don't know what you know. Duty free going into Mexico. I don't know what that would be coming back maybe. But yeah, that's the border fence, guys. And I mean, it goes for miles and miles and miles and miles and miles. And it's more than 12 feet high. I can tell you that because we're fixing to get right up next to it and put our hand on it. And you can see through the fence. Those buildings you see through the fence. That's in Palomas, Mexico. It sure is. Well, I'm going to drive right out there if I can. It looks like I can. How about that? And even got a place to turn around. Now, see, they thought of me when they did this. They said, you know, we're going to build this fence, and Rusty's going to come look at it. So, you know, fix him a place where he can bring his Class C and make a turn, okay? And get it done, guys. Yeah, it's got a, I don't know what that is on top of it, but it goes, I mean, we're going to get out. Don't worry, guys. We're going to walk right up to it, and you're going to get to put your hand on it. But first, I'm going to turn my ship into the wind, so to speak, and uh, get out of here. But I don't want to be in a situation where somebody pulls in and boxes me in, you know, the old boxy men trick. So let's go see the border wall between the United States and Mexico on a beautiful day, and we'll come right back. Mm. I made me up. A soda water. I had some ice, and I got me a Diet Dr. Pepper and a Big Red. Ain't that something? Hold on, guys. Let me get this out of here without cutting it off. Okay, we got it. Let's go. Let's go do it, Pruitt. Latch the door. That door latch. All right, so let's go put our hand. I'm gonna... <laughs> it's probably electrified, you know what I mean? You put your hand on it, it electrocutes you. But you know, what I can understand, it looks like those openings are almost big enough to walk through. That wouldn't surprise me. That would not surprise me. But anyway, you can see it goes whoop, way the hell down there. And then turn it around, goes way, whoop, and that's the center 
Actually, it's just on the bank of the Rio Grande River on our side. <laughs> There's a big building right there. That's probably a uh, probably loaded with the illegal drugs. They just throw them over the fence. <laughs> Somebody picks them up. Well, there's a few pigeons up there blessing the fence. How cool, huh? I was wondering if I'd be able to get down here and see the fence. Not is, is this interesting? It is to me. Because hell, you talk about creating jobs. And first of all, look at this road. This road that had to be built so they could build that. And that's concrete on the bottom there. All that at the base is all concrete. But, here's the thing I, I'm concerned about. If you were just a little skinny guy, could you get through this? Yeah. Oh, well, you'd have to be damn skinny. Yeah, there's an opening there about, this is my hand. So the opening is the width of my hand. I'd say it's about four and a half, five inches wide, this opening. But these are solid iron. They're not, they're not, listen to this. This is, these are solid iron. You hear that? That's a solid iron post. I mean, to keep people out. Yo! Look at this thing. Let's look from the bottom to the top. Bottom of fence. Doop. 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 Yo! It's 12 feet tall, my ass. How about 30 feet tall? Let's see. I'm going to guess. I'm going to say. Let's see. Let's see. Let me see. Me. One, two, three. It's at least 25 feet tall, at least, at least, okay? So you'd have to be a hell of a pole vaulter to come over this dog. And it starts on the other side and goes that way for how many miles? I don't know, a long way, all the way to El Paso, I guess. Well, guys, did you think you were going to get to see the border wall between Texas, I mean, between the United States and Mexico today? I didn't. But look at me, dog. Old Rusty78609 is here in his Class C, to Class C motorhome. And isn't this nice? There's nobody here, man. I love this. And look at, I wanna show you something. I wish I could get a good picture of it. But there's a tumbleweed back in here from hell, man. It is the biggest tumbleweed right in here that I have ever seen. And how it got there, I don't know. Como esta, amigo? Si habla inglés? Spraking the Dutch? Somebody's there. The stupid gringos. We don't need no badges. But anyway, isn't this fun? <laughs> you know, there's so much. There's so much to do, guys. Here's part of a car or something. I don't know what that is? Or part of maybe it's part of the fence. Okay, pigeons. But that's crazy, isn't it? You talk about an expensive fence. Those are solid iron posts. Those are not hollow. And look at the lights. Those lights, all the way down. You see that? You think that's an inexpensive light? You gotta be kidding me. Nothing but the best for the US. If we're gonna build a border fence, we're gonna build a damn border fence. Don't jack with me, Jack. You know what I mean? We're gonna build a damn fence. And we ain't, I don't know what we're doing. I don't know that it's keeping anybody out, but, uh, well, I don't know. Well, you know, how's it keeping people out when this lady that lives in Palomas right here, right in there, is walking across the border and working right over there. Hello. <laughs> She's made, what's great about it, she earns her money in American dollars, which I'm sure they pay her minimum wage. I mean, what is minimum wage? Seven and a quarter now. Well, she's making uh, 70 pesos an hour because the exchange rate is 10 or 11 to one. Yeah, she's living like a god. I wonder whose Mercedes that was parked in front of the store. Well, guys, isn't this fun? I just love to wander around like this. Oh golly, but on a, what is it, what day of the week? This is a Friday morning, so we got beer 30. I, well, uh, I'll post this video later in the week, probably. Uh, I don't know, I, we'll see. I'm just, I've been just doing a whole shitload of videos and then uh, post them whenever I want to. That way I don't have to, I'm not under any stress and I don't edit them. You know, see, that's the thing. You know, these people that edit their videos, they spend hours getting the music just right for the right, moment and all that stuff and you know they want to and then they have the picture of them that shows up on youtube where they've got that fake ass smile on their face and they're in that poised position with their hands up or their mouth open yo <laughs> i mean my mouth's open all the time yeah. anyway let's go so that ladies and gentlemen for your viewing pleasure was the usa 
Boy, you know what I'm, I'm amazed about too? Everything here is new. New. There is nothing old here. You see that telephone post right there? That is a brand new telephone post. That is a brand new telephone post, okay? Everything. All those lights over in there are brand new. I mean, when they rebuilt this thing, they spared no, but it's on both sides. I mean, Mexico rebuilt all of their stuff and we built, rebuilt all of our stuff at the, at the same time. That's coincidental. It's weird what it is. Did you ever feel like there was something going on and you weren't part of it? You know what I mean? That there was actually something that you probably needed to know, but you just kind of missed the point? Well, I feel that way sometimes. Anyway, here comes a guy in a black car. Oh, he turned. <laughs> yeah, when they come in a black limo or whatever it is those stretch uh vans or whatever the black tinted windows those that's not a good sign so yeah that's pretty fun okay so now we will leave here and see if we can get out and i'll let y'all be a witness okay doors shut keys where must keys 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 got, i got some stinking keys gringos okay here we go guys engine started break off break off in gear, in drive, ready, set, go. We're taking off at light speed, guys. This is so neat just to drive this around like a car. You know what I mean? If I got to pee, I just pee. You know what I mean? Not on myself. I get, I got, I got, I got old PJ with me. PJ, PJ the PJ. Actually, I had a dog one time named PJ. Mm-hmm. It was a pit bull. I didn't buy it. I lived out in the country, and he just came up there one day, no collar, no nothing, a little puppy, but not well, probably maybe three or four months old. And uh, yeah, he hung around there, and I fed him, gave him water. Next thing you know, I had a pet. But just like I found him, somebody else found him. I had him about I don't know three years, and then uh, because I I didn't tie him up or anything, I lived way out in the boonies and. You know, dogs just ran free, and that's the way I did when I was a kid, so I was doing it then, but apparently he ran free, and, and somebody picked up a free dog. Well, guys, this is the little, there's no town here. Well, it, actually, all these buildings, you see, this is Border Patrol offices and living quarters, I guess, or meeting areas and stuff, and some businesses have, because all this to my left that you can't see is just wide open spaces that they've cleared. And they're, and they're building out there. They're, they're, it looks like they're setting it up to build a bunch of warehouses and stuff. They already have some built. So yeah, there's fixing to be a change here on the border. Now, if you ever come down here, there's a free parking area right here on the right, right next to the Family Dollar. And you don't have to pay anything. And it's only like a three or four minute walk all the way across into Mexico. So you don't need to go to the pay, a pay thing. Or you could park, you can, and what you should do, in my opinion, get you a bottle of water before you go into Mexico so you got something to keep your mouth wet or whatever so yeah this is fun eh? got me a soda of dark chocolate almonds and stuff life is good man. and nothing to do not a damn thing well this I'll tell you something else you see the stop sign we're coming to here do not go to the right but if you do, you can't turn around. There's those people getting ready to go to Mexico. But it says five dollars per an envelope for for that. That's a paid parking. But you can park. You can find you a place to park for free if you wanted to. Yeah, there's parking across here too that nobody knows about. See, right where that you just go that right there. That's all free parking right there but nobody ever uses it because they don't know it's there. I mean, you would never know about any of this unless you drove down here. It is three miles to Columbus, boop, 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 and 34 miles to Deming, New Mexico. Deming's got a Walmart and all the stuff, and uh, they got a gas station in um, Columbus, and it's not bad, prices aren't bad. So, guys, with that in mind, as we head back to, well, you, let's see what time, how long this has been going on. Now, let's let it go. What I'll do, I'll, I'll go all the way back to my parking spot at, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, Pancho Villa State Park. You know, I 
I'm going 30 miles an hour to let this guy behind me pass. He's right on my bumper. <laughs> Scary, isn't it? And these people vote, you know what I mean? Mexico, New Mexico welcomes you. Well, that's good. I feel welcome here. Yeah, I was just going to go out. I was just going to drive over somewhere and get a, uh, you know what I mean, a, a soda water at the gas station, you know, with ice and stuff. Well, they don't have it. So then I thought, well, I'll go down to that Dollar General and get me a couple of those liter bottles because it's the cheapest way to buy it. And then I'd have some on hand if I ever got the urge. So that's what I did. And this guy is still parked right on my bump dog. Pass now, Phil. I'm gonna slow down to 10 miles an hour. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna stop. There it goes. Well, it wouldn't bother me if, if they were, you know, were a safe distance away from my vehicle, but when you, you can't even see them, you know, enough said. Moving along to Pancho Villa State Park. You know, there's land for sale here, I think, on both sides of the road, and some of them have power. But I want to live here? Nope, 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 nope. Why? Man, I, I like remote, but I don't like remote, like Terlingua Ranch anymore. I did that. I did that thing. We're cruising along at 45 miles an hour comes a car. Now that's the way you're supposed to do it. Just blow me off the road. That's what. That's the kind of people I like. Just speed on by. Don't jack around. It's a pretty good soda water I mixed up. So we got to see the border wall. I was hoping I would. That, boy, that, that is, you see, I can't remember, I've been here, it was two years ago since I was here, I think. And there was no border wall then, and they were still building on both sides of the border, the new buildings, and uh, for the border patrol, or whatever you want to call it, immigration, on both sides. And now they're all finished. It looks really nice. I mean, it's really fancy. somebody has an Uzi would be like pulling out a BB gun, you know what I mean? Okay, so here we go, guys. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Those two RVs on the right there have been parked there since I've been here. Looks like the guy on the one side, that Class A, the big one, the windshield's been busted out. They may be waiting for a new windshield. That's what it appears. Okay, now we turn left here. Whenever you go to the campground, you come in, you go in the second entrance. If you want to go in the office, you take the first entrance. How did I look? How did I figure that out? 
Well, I drove in there about 50 times, that's why. That's the park ranger there that I, on the right. And now I'm gonna go back and take my snack and go up on top of that little hill where the guard was many years ago that spotted Pancho Villa's army, or most, actually they split up. They came from two different directions. They came from the east and the west at the same time. Pretty smart, didn't work, but it was pretty smart. <clears throat> yeah, he caught them by surprise, but what he, what he didn't count on was all the automatic weapons that the US military had at that time. And yeah, they, they, they got their machine, gun go, go, machine guns going and that kind of evened the score real quick. Yeah, it's pretty nice to just drive off from your spot and then drive back. I left the water hose there and, and my electric hose and my blocks. I should be able to just drive right back in the same position, I hope. Got some old buildings here. Not the one you're looking at, but over here there's one under cover. They built a $20,000 cover to cover an old adobe building that nobody looks at or very few. Not too many people are interested in that old history. I'm fascinated by it. You'll see the building in just a second. Just as I make this turn, it'll come into view. It's an old adobe. See it right under that cover? That was one of the old buildings, or actually that was part of the city because Columbus was still a little town here then, but they also had the military outpost, which was here. And so that was probably one of the, let's see if it's, it says jo Judge Advocate's Office. Camp Furlong. So I guess it was called Camp Furlong. See that? I'll turn in here and you'll see that I've got my stuff here. Yeah, I got a concrete pad that is so neat, man. No kidding. Now the trick is to get lined up with these blocks. Because see, when I'm on the blocks, if I get lined up right, I missed them. <laughs> I missed them completely. Shit. Damn blocks. Ain't you got no cooth? Where are you, things? Ooh. Well, which way do I have to go to hit the blocks? This way? I guess so. Let's do that and see what happens. Are you kidding me? I missed them again. Do I not have any front wheels? <laughs> Shit. What am I, floating in air here? Okay, I'm gonna have to get out and aim this thing. My aimer's off for some reason. I need to straighten one up anyway. Hell, I thought this would be easy. Whoa, 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 horse, whoa. All right, anyway, guys, I'll end the video now, and then I'll get out and try it about 50 times to hit those blocks. Thumbs up, guys. Carpe diem, adios, bye, bye, buy anything you want. Use the Amazon link to choose to. Drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, keep your health, and come down here and check out the border wall. Nothing else. Adios, bye, bye.